Hi, one of the questions that I get asked an awful lot about is how I stay motivated. Um, I've been on my journey for uh, nearly four and a half years now. I've lost over 18 stone, so over 260 pounds altogether. Um, I think to answer that, I really need to go back to the beginning of my journey. Um, I decided that to make the conscious decision when I first started to cut out all junk food. Um, I had various... Um, problems around food. Um, I would binge eat, I would um, I was a food hoarder, um, I um, would graze, I would spend a whole day just grazing. Um, so I didn't have the best relationship with food when I first started. Obviously um, I started off at um, over four well over four hundred pounds. Um, so I decided to cut all rubbish out of my diet. Um, I decided that was going to be the best for me. Um, so for eight months, I didn't have any cakes, chocolates, biscuits, crisps. Um, I think in that time I had one takeaway um, and I decided that I was going to do Slimming World. So even though I had a takeaway, I still sinned it. So um, after eight months, I decided that I missed white bread more than anything so um, and also my portion sizes with Slimming World were quite big. Um, the free foods that I, I was mostly eating free foods um, and I'd use my sins on um, cheese and mayonnaise so I decided that I was going to swap to Weight Watchers. Um, in my first, um, in those eight months I lost seven stone six pounds um, but my weight loss had started to slow down a little bit. So when I started with Weight Watchers, um, the first week I had a McDonald's breakfast, I pointed it um, and I lost seven pounds. So obviously the change in diet did help a lot um, in that first initial week. Um, I think my average weight loss over my whole three years that it took me to get to goal was about one and a half pounds. Um, so... When I swapped to Weight Watchers, I started to introduce those foods back in. Um, but the difference now is that I know that I can have a small portion. I know that I can live without those foods I did for eight months. It's not the fact that I need them. It's I can have them if I want them. Um, but I can have a smaller portion. And that's what Weight Watchers taught me as well. It's my portion sizes. Um, I now know what a portion of pasta is, isn't like a quarter, half a bag of pasta, which it was before. It's, um, I can I can have 90 grams of dry pasta and it's fine. So that's what the difference is. Um, also habit and routine plays a massive part. Um, I automatically say no to everything now. Um, my automatic response is no. Um, I'll then think about it. If I've got the points for it, I'll have it. If not, I won't. That's basically how it goes. Um, it's um, I do worry about spiralling out of control. I can have one to two days off, any more than that, and I do feel physically unwell now. I feel quite lethargic, I feel dehydrated, and I feel quite ill. Um, so obviously that helps uh, me get back on track. Um, so yeah, I think habit and routine is definitely a big part. The fact that I managed to cut out all of the rubbish that I did helped me a lot as well. Um, obviously that wouldn't work for everybody, um, but it definitely worked for me. Um, it, I had to relearn about food and I had to teach myself what portion sizes were, that I didn't need those foods and obviously that's helped a lot. So thank you for listening. Bye.